Hey, hello, scrappers. I mentioned a few videos ago that I would uh, give you a look at my bucket shelf, and uh, we'll go over some measurements in case you want to build one. Now, the one I've got holds 12 buckets, three high, four wide, and then I've got a little shelf on top. Basically, I used a one by six decking lumber up there, but uh, I don't know. Depends on how much weight you want to put up there. <coughs> Another thing I have sitting on basically a little retaining wall. Originally, I started out building this area. I got an eight foot by eight foot greenhouse there, and that's the back wall there. Or I should say that wall is the, the north wall of the greenhouse. And I don't know if you can see the window back in behind that or not. But uh, if I see it, part of it there by the buckets. Anyway, it's sitting on a some uh, like landscape timbers or railroad ties. They're actually oh, guardrail posts is what they are, but six by eight. I made a retaining wall there and leveled it up, and then I put the greenhouse in there, and then I did the same thing just about where I'm standing. And then brought a bunch of dirt up and leveled this up. Kind of stair stepped it. But uh, my shelf sits up on it. So, top of the shelf is probably a good six foot high. But it's sitting, well, let me get a measurement there. Step on this cord here. It's sitting roughly. Uh, 12, 14 inches up off the ground. And uh, I guess we're going to start, I use 1x4s for the uprights, so I'll get you a measurement on them. Of course there's four of them and they're, they're five foot tall. So five foot tall is probably plenty tall for anybody. And then uh, say if you got a shop with a cement floor you can probably put casters on the bottom if you wanted to where you could roll it around that way wherever you're working you can roll it over there by where you're working and when you're done you could roll it back off to the side out of the way <coughs> that way you don't have to work next to the shelf you can bring a shelf next to where you work so four one by fours five foot long and then uh, so basically you want to build your two end pieces first now, uh, as you can see, I've got a two two by four here running to the back, and it's right on the right at the bottom. And then I got another one here, another one here, another one here, and they they basically hold the two by fours going across. So, let's see if I can get a measurement here. Can't, can't hook it here. Try up here. I to find a place I can hook it. Okay, here we go. I've got 16 inches. So you need eight two by fours at 16 inches. And uh, those you're just gonna, like I say, one for each side, put your two by four going across with your one by fours at each end. And then, uh, I put mine together with screws that way if I had to take it apart which I did because I had I think I had the bottom one down too far where I couldn't I couldn't pull the buckets out you want to be able to you know, pull your buckets out so I don't have a lot of extra room but I got a little bit so I think I might remove two buckets so you can see a little better Let's move the camera a little closer. If that's not too close. I don't know, maybe that'll help. So you 
got your five foot one by four running upright. You got your 16 inch two by four running across here. Now I'll go to, I'll measure to the bottom. Okay, so from the very bottom of your one by four to the bottom of this two by four for the second shelf is right at about 20 inches. Having trouble with that tape staying, staying where I want it to, but we'll get through this. Let me get it hooked on there if I can. Okay, so to the bottom of the second shelf is 20 inches, then goes 39. And then the top one is about 56 and a half. Of course, now you notice my notice my shelf at the top does not come all the way out. If this came all the way out, I wouldn't be able to get the buckets out. So what you might do, since it's 20 inches from here to here. What you'd have to make your 1x4 is a little bit longer, is, is some 20 inches from the bottom to the bottom, and then 39. So really to stay equal, this one should have been about 40, and that one at about 60. So the bottom of this one should have been 5 foot. So you'd have to raise it up maybe another 4 inches. So if you wanted to keep it uniform, so that'd be roughly 5 foot 4. So you build that first. Yeah, I wasn't thinking of going to measurements and I could see it, but like I said, between here and here is 20. Between the very bottom and here is 20. So if you could, you know, just go from 20 to the bottom of this one at, at 40 and then up to 60. So you you could actually lay it out on the ground before you cut your one by four and get it that way. Hey, go for a ride there, guys. Okay, now we'll try to back this up again where you can get a broader view. I'm going to try to go. Now, for our cross piece across two by fours, which we're going to need two, four, six, and I got one going across the back. I'm not sure if that's a two by four or one by four. That's a one by four, the one going across the back to help stabilize it. But uh, this board is four foot four. Actually I got like I've got like fifty two and a quarter inches. So basically four foot four. It leaves a little bit of room in between the buckets to make it easier to get them in and out. So you're basically looking at one foot one inch for every bucket. So if you want to make it five buckets wide, you can go five foot five. If you want to go six buckets wide, go six foot six. And then uh, you can see down here on the bottom, all I did is rest the 2x4 vertically on the side 2x4 and put my screws in the ends and then on the one on the back I laid it down horizontal. So the board on the front and the board on the back both, both basically rest at the same height, it's just the front one is vertical and the back one is horizontal. And the buckets sit in there just as pretty as you please. As you can see, yeah, they got a nice angle to them, so you can throw stuff in. Yeah, because that was my thinking. If you know, you can't hardly stack them and get stuff in them, but if you could put them like this, you could still access, throw stuff in them. And they're all in basically on top of each other, and then you can have empty buckets or whatever stored up on top. You could put a piece of plywood up there if you wanted. 
and like I said, if you put this on the floor on casters, this would be a lot easier to access. And another thing, put light lightweight stuff up on top and the heavier stuff on the bottom. That way you're not having to try to reach up high for the heavy stuff to get the bucket off the shelf. Dude, my, originally I was tearing stuff down in here and then when the bucket would get full then I'd take it to the other room and dump it in the barrel. So, another recap. I've got the 1x4 uprights at 5 foot, but like I said, if you wanted to go 20, 20, 40, 60, you'd probably have to go about 5 foot 4, is what I'm thinking. Let me see where 60 ends up on here. Yeah, right now, the very top of this is 60, so basically you'd be adding a 2x4 on top of that, so another, another really 3.5 inches. So. So you'd be adding another three and a half inches to it, so it's five foot three and a half. I'll uh, kind of zoom in a little bit maybe if I can, and then I'll show you the measurement. Well, actually, you should shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Are you checking everything out there, debris? So, like I said, if you wanted to go to the bottom 60 inches where you'd have more room to get this out and be, be able to bring your top shelf all the way over you'd want to go with 60 inches is right here to the very top so you'd actually want to bring the bottom here up to 60 inches so you'd have to have about three and a half more inches you know for, for that so that would actually work out a little better than what, I, what I've got here not a whole lot of difference but uh, Sometimes just a little little change here and there can make a big difference. This is kind of a prototype, but uh, it it's working. It serves its purpose. As you can see on the that bottom there, I you know, just have one two by four vertical, and then the back one is horizontal. My end pieces are one by fours, but if you're going to be putting a lot, if, if you're going to make it longer and put a lot more weight on it, uh, then I would probably make the uprights out of two by fours. And like I said, I put it all together with screws. I got two screws coming in here, four screws down here. I can see I got screw holes right here from probably when I had this down lower and I couldn't get the buckets out. So then I just okay, I gotta raise it up. And like I said, it'd be ideal to have on casters where you could roll it around. Of course my dirt floor would make that kind of hard. So anyway, that's uh the bucket shelf in a nutshell. And like I say, you can modify it. Like I said, uh for your width, basically give like one one foot one inch per bucket. Or you can go an inch and a half one foot one and a half inches if you wanted to get, get a little bit more more room to get that out but you know you can always start them over the side a little bit if you needed to it works pretty good for me so can't complain and like I said the buckets just sit down in there nice and So hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Uh, anybody that scraps or needs some kind of bucket storage, I guess, I guess guys doing lawnmower repair and stuff like that could actually you'd probably use something similar to this. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, I appreciate it if you would subscribe. Take a look around the channel and see what you think. See if I can earn your subscription. And uh, I do lots of different videos, tear down, stuff I bring in. Most of my uh, videos of bringing stuff in is through the spring, summer, and fall when I run my ad. I do have a load to go after Sunday. I think it's uh, one of the guys that has one of my cards. Because my ad, I haven't run the ad since October. So, And I just picked some stuff up the other day. I still got a microwave 
in the back of the truck and I just unloaded the riding mower off the trailer yesterday so still bringing in a few things but uh, I'm going to remind everybody about the uh, Amazon affiliate link. There'll be a description or a, bit, a link in the description below. So you guys all have a great weekend, and hope you get some good finds out there. I know we got a, another Arctic blast moving in, so stay warm, take care of your families, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.